what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to step through doing a beard on a Santa and because I've been asked a lot of clubs uh, to do these demos and never understood why they asked the ball headed guy to do a demonstration on hair, but uh, I get asked a lot. So, so with that, uh, we'll do that. And then I'm going to do real quick, uh, uh, just show you how to do the, the straw on a scarecrow then. So, and then show you some other things that can be done with that same technique. So, uh, so with that, uh, let's, uh, let's see here. All right. So when I do uh, beards on my Santas, uh, here's one that's finished. That's not the best example. But maybe this one will show up a little bit better. But I, I like some really deep cuts. And there's so many different ways to do hair and beards. But uh, on this style of Santas, I like to do those, do it this way. And what I do is I use three, three U gouges, three different sizes. And I'll start out with like a three eighths U gouge. Uh, bear with me because th this part is all new to me. So, uh, but anyway, what I'll do, you, you're looking for lazy S's and C shapes. Uh, you don't want any straight lines in your beards. Uh, and an, another thing that makes mistakes with new carvers, and I was guilty of it, when you're doing the mustaches, uh, they, all the hair does not go from the center line out. Uh, so many carvers will carve a mustache that way. They're, they're taken from the center line and going straight out. Your hair grows straight down. And, and I don't know if that shows, up, that shows up a little better. So your hair goes. So keep that in mind when you're doing the mustaches on uh, your, your carvings, whether it's a cowboy, a hillbilly, or whatever. Uh, but there again, what you're looking for is lazy S's, C shapes, that type of stuff, no straight lines. So I'll start, and what I have here is about a 3 8 uh, gouge. Uh, this one just happens to be a Drake number nine. And I really don't like uh, saying, well, you know, use a, a 3 8 nine because everybody's nine's a little bit different. So you're just looking for a U gouge. So what I'll come through is just do, just start wasting away get some eyes on that'll help then i like to break come down and break the edges on there because i don't want any straight lines coming across the bottom of the beard So I can keep on going, but I'm not going to bore you with that. But then when I do, I move to another size U gouge. And this one just happens to be roughly a quarter inch. And then I'll, uh, if I see flat spots, I'm going to go break them up. Uh, I'll go e even inside the same channels that I was already in. If I see what's looking like a real long line uh, coming down, like right in here, that's kind of still looking pretty straight. I can come back through and break that up. Just like say, just random. bring them down and you know break up the flat spots you want to just try to get rid of as many of the flat spots as you can and then after that i'll move to uh this one's probably a 3 16th u uh, you can even go smaller if you want um, you know just go through and just start adding more go back in the same grooves you were just in make it a little deeper but by the time you get all that done it just gives you uh, a really nice effect like I say, with maybe you can see a little better there, you know, just so. Uh, and then another tip you can do is take uh, a knife and you can come in and you can actually highlight some of it. I'll just do one spot here. Uh, you could use a V tool for this too, but I, I use a knife a lot. But you can see the little shadow that that threw in there. Uh, so, you know, carving is a lot about shadow and stuff. 